3,000 kilometers long, running from gas fields in Russia's Siberia to the Chinese border, the Power of Siberia gas pipeline is one of the world's most ambitious energy projects, with vast ramifications for relations between Russia and China. The first ever gas pipeline connecting the world's largest energy exporter and its largest energy consumer, construction on the $55 billion project began in 2014, and 30 years of planned gas shipments worth an estimated $400 billion will begin in December 2019. Built, operated and fueled by Russia's state-owned Gazprom, the 1.4 meter wide steel pipeline is being built through swamps, forests, permafrost and seismically active areas and across vast plains where the temperatures vary from above 30 degrees in summer and dip below minus 50 in the winter. Ну то, что касается проект, проект сам по себе уникален. Уникален масштабами. Вот, уникален по тем местам, по которым проходит там, где еще есть места, где человек не бывал. Сложности очень большие. Ну, земля такая, Якутия, она сама по себе сложна. Поэтому, наверное, и больше интерес тех, кто принимает участие в реализации этого проекта. И получит больше удовольствия. Будут гордиться тем, что принимали участие в строительстве такого проекта и будут рассказывать своим детям, внукам. Aside from the environmental complications involved in building in such extreme conditions, workers must stay alert for attacks from bears as they weld together as many as 50 12 meter long pieces of pipe each day. After welding, the pipe is delicately lowered into a 4 meter deep trench and then covered with soil. At the end of 2017, Gazprom said the project was ahead of schedule. Here, around a third of the way down the Power of Siberia pipeline, the Siberian gas fields are a thousand kilometers behind me, and the Chinese border, 2,000 kilometers that way. While obviously a feat of engineering and technology, some analysts have questioned how much Gazprom will have to spend to fund the $55 billion project. Others question whether the Chinese buyers have got a better deal than the Russian company, knowing full well there was nobody else who would buy the gas. The gas pipeline will be Gazprom's first major export route east. Agreed between the country's two leaders, it is a major business shift that mirrors Russia's geopolitical turn towards China as relations with the US and Europe deteriorate. Russia's large network of Soviet-era pipelines that run west account for roughly 40% of Europe's gas needs and represent the vast majority of Gazprom's profits. Whether the Chinese pipeline becomes as significant is as yet unclear. Gazprom certainly hopes so, given the upfront investment it has had to sink into the pipeline. Much will depend on how gas prices move in the coming decades and how much China's energy demands increase. A Chinese team is currently tunneling away on a connecting pipeline that will link Paris, Siberia with China's gas system. Gazprom hopes that by 2020, that will be in high demand.